This video is going to be about the endomembrane system. So the endomembrane system is a really important player in our cellular dynamics, especially when we're thinking about moving things from one cellular compartment to another. And so what allows the endomembrane system to be able to do this efficiently is that the membranes of the different components of the endomembrane system are connected to one another, either through a physical continuity, as is the case with the nuclear uh, envelope and the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum, or through uh, vesicles, which would be the case between the ER and the Golgi body and the plasma membrane and the lysis Lysosomes as well. Um, so just because these membranes are connected either directly or indirectly does not mean that these membranes are identical. So these membranes are all carrying out different functions, um, so they're all going to be um, composed a little bit differently and have different proteins in them, um, different kinds of fatty acids and that sort of thing. However, there is some polarity with these membranes, especially with the Golgi body, which is going to have two distinct faces. That way, um, the cell is able to figure out where to uh, send these vesicles exactly. So to get a better idea of all of this, we'll look at a protein that's made on the rough endoplasmic reticulum that's uh, supposed to be secreted from the cell. So we know the rough ER has ribosomes on it, and so those ribosomes are going to be responsible for synthesizing proteins that will eventually be uh, transported out of the cell. So what will happen is we'll have a protein that will get uh, translated and then fed into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum, where it'll get modified a little bit, um, and uh, any changes that need to be made at this point will be made. And then what will happen is this protein will break off inside of a vesicle. And so this vesicle will then travel to the Golgi body. So specifically, it's going to go to the cis face of the Golgi body, which would be this face right here, closest to the endoplasmic reticulum. And so as it moves through these different stacks of the Golgi body, we're going to have different modifications taking place. And so this is where the protein um, is going to be modified, and you're going to add any um, components to help it uh, reach its final destination that it needs to have. You're going to take off anything extra that it doesn't need anymore. And then at the end, we'll package it into another vesicle at the trans phase of the Golgi body. And there it will break off. And from there, it can go to the plasma membrane and fuse with the membrane to empty the contents of the vesicle on the outside of the cell. So with this example, we can see this continuity between these different cellular compartments that's taking place. So um, like I said, they're connected by vesicles in this case. So um, after it breaks off from the ER, it goes to the Golgi body and then back to the plasma membrane, all in the form of vesicles. Um, and so that's how these compartments are connected in this case. So another portion of the endomembrane system is the lysosome. So inside the lysosome, we're going to have things uh, such as hydrolytic enzymes, which are going to help break down uh, larger molecules into smaller molecules that the uh, cell can use then to uh, do several different things. So for example, if we have something that gets engulfed um, by endocytosis, it could end up in a lysosome where it gets broken down into its uh, building blocks. And then from the lysosome, we can then send those components back to various regions within the cell wherever they might be needed. So we can send them back to the endoplasmic reticulum to be reused um, in more of these uh, vesicles. We can send them to the Golgi body if there's something in there that can be used in the Golgi body. So it really just depends on the cell's needs. Um, but the lysosome, because it's part of this endomembrane system, is capable of transporting things to these different cellular compartments. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.